Hi, uh, so this is a let's play of my game So Many Jagged Shards. Uh, so I made this game for the, or I started this game for the 2013 uh, 7 day roguelike competition. Um, having said that, I think most people po probably wouldn't recognise it as a roguelike. Uh, it does have some roguelike elements as the procedural level generation, uh, permadeath and item identification, but beyond that it's, uh, it's a bit atypical. Um, so I'm just going to get started. Uh, there's a character select screen. Um, characters in this game are basically just shapes, though so there's no stats involved with the different characters. Uh, I do have a character editor here, um, which saves characters as SVG files, which is kind of cool. But uh, I discovered earlier today that it's actually broken slightly, so I'm going to have to skip that for this video. And I'm just going to pick a rogue, because I, I kind of like that. So the aim of the game is to get to the exit, um, but it also has... Right, so I'm going to grab this and then run away. Uh, so you can see there I'm getting chased by uh, an enemy. So I'm going to grab that fact and run a little bit further. So, so that enemy was the, the most basic kind of enemy. It will basically move towards you and if it collides with you, you'll lose a heart. Um, but you should have seen while I was running away that I collected two pickups. So if I go to the inventory screen, uh, what I've got is a red sustained attract pickup and a red passive rotate pickup. So if I now go and find some red walls, you should see... So you can see here, as soon as I move near these walls, they start to rotate. Um, and if I then trigger this uh, sustained attract, start to attract walls towards myself. Um, so, uh, if I go back to the inventory, I'll explain a bit more about this. So, uh, the coloured icon in the middle with these, that tells you what the pickup does. So, this kind of circle with a dot uh, attracts things, and this uh, other icon rotates them. Um, and then you have the this kind of grey surround, and that tells you how those pickups are triggered. So there are three ways of triggering pickups. Um, uh, there's the sustained method and the passive method, where the, the passive method is just always active. Anything that comes close to you will get acted upon by the, by the pickup. The sustained method, however, um, is active for as long as you hold the mouse down, but if you look at the the icon on the bot on the hot bar there. Uh, we have a wee bar, so you can't do it in indefin indefinitely. After a while, you need to let it recharge. Um, there's a third method of triggering pickups, but I'll talk about that when we actually find a pickup that uh, has that method. Um, so, so like I said, the aim of the game is basically just to get to the exit. Uh, there's ten levels, so if I find the level exit here skip on to the next level and oh I just noticed I missed a pick up here um, which is a shame but uh, I'm sure we'll find more um, so uh, generally enemies are fairly infrequent they do get more frequent the further you go uh, so that's what oh I was trying to be clever and skip past them instead I uh, lost a heart um, and hopefully you noticed there that when you lose a heart um, it also repels anything close to you. So it can be useful to, if you're in a bad situation, it can be useful to just take the hit if you can afford it. Uh, because it can get you out of sticky situations. And actually if I hit escape, you can see at the bottom there, S to suicide. So you can actually trigger uh, a suicide, trigger your own death, or to lose a heart, um, if you're in a bad situation. and. Uh, you need to repel things. Like if you're stuck in a wall, maybe. Um, so what I'm going to do is, yeah, just skip to the exit. So uh, generally, when you're moving about, you can move really fast. But uh, if you're just exploring the level for the first time, you probably want to go quite slow because you can easily get tr um, ambushed by enemies if you're jumping about like that all the time. Uh, so here's another pickup. That's just uh, another sustained uh, pickup. This one rotates, so I can rotate these orange walls here. Uh, so 
the idea with the game is that there's six colours. Um, everything in the game is, will be one of those six colours, other than the player. Uh, and you can interact with them with pickups of the same colour. Um, so, if we carry on a bit further... There's another rotate pickup here, and I think that's a different surround, if I grab that. Yeah, so this is the other pickup type. Uh, and this is a burst one, so if I if I change, so actually I'll talk about the the numbers here. So the numbers represent the left, which mouse button is bound to which uh, pickup. So one is the left mouse button, two is the right mouse button, and you can scroll the left mouse button with the mouse wheel. Uh, you can also toggle them by right clicking on your I the items in the inventory. So I have burst rotate. Uh, assigned to my right mouse button. So if I uh, find some green walls, I'll just explain how the burst mechanism works. So basically, you click it. Oh, those are not green walls. These are green walls. There we go. So you click it and it, it's active for a brief moment and then you'll see the bar at the, down there it goes red and you have to wait for it to recharge before you can use it again. So I think I'm going to try and skip around the top of this guy. Um, generally in this game, uh, you're better off avoiding enemies as much as possible. Uh, the game is meant to be mostly pacifist. Um, you don't have any ways of directly attacking enemies. Now, if you watch here, these enemies are moving towards me, but as soon as they get within the range of my passive rotate, they start rotating and can't actually get close enough to do any damage. So, pass. Oh dear. Nope. That wasn't good. Um, hope, I was hoping I'd get a bit further before losing two lives. Um, so, right, so this is a different enemy. This is a chameleon enemy type, which uh, these things uh, periodically change colour, and hopefully we'll see it doing that in a second. There we go. Nope. There. So when it changes colour, it changes the colour of its surrounding environment, um, which can make them kind of a pain because they can screw up your plans for like uh, repelling them or shrinking them or something. So that's another passive rotate, this time the green one. Um, so far, the pickups I've collected haven't been particularly useful. Uh, there are more. There are far far more useful pickups in the game, but these aren't bad. Um, generally there's only really one uh, completely bad pickup that you don't want to get, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate that a bit further on. So, no, don't go that way. Okay, lots of enemies. Right, ah, so this is a good one to have. Oh, I'll grab another. So, if we look at the Bench. So I've got a passive shrink, so that means anything, any green objects, any green walls or enemies that come close to me will get shrunk. Um, and I also got this uh, sustained repel, so if we go back here and I hit that, I can fling things around. And I, if you notice there, that enemy got killed because I flung a, a wall at him. So, like I was saying, the game's meant to be mainly pacifist, but there are, and you don't have a direct way of killing enemies, but if you collect the right pickups, there are ways of killing them, like I did there, so I flung a bunch of red walls at them. Um, so enemies can dive when they, they are hit by moving walls, and also when you shrink them down to nothing, if you have a shrink pickup. So there I just grabbed a burst shrink, blue one. So I am going to skip to the next level. And you'll see these green guys, they just shrink down to nothing. Um, now that I've got my, uh, my passive green pickup. I'm getting chased by that protect, so that's not a problem. Um, so you can see the, the passive shrink is really, really useful because it can... Uh, it can deal with problems before you even notice them, notice they're there. So I'm going to grab this guy, which is a... Uh, 
uh, Green Burst Extract. It's not particularly useful, but uh, you can use Attract Pickups to again fling walls at enemies if you can position them correctly. Um, so I'm going to skip those guys, I think. Go on this way. There's a couple of purple mines, which I think I should be able to outrun. Uh, getting a lot of rotate pickups, which isn't doesn't make for a particularly interesting game. I'm just going to shift some of these how these pickups are bound. Hmm. Not quite sure how that guy died. Oh, he skips the exit before he kills me. Um, another rotate pickup and a passive strength. Now, that enemy there, oh, those enemies there, these are turrets which fire at you. Um, so I'm actually going to go this other way. Um, now, one of the things about this game is that uh, if you're paying attention, you can actually um, recognise that you're coming close to enemies like turrets before you see them just from the sound, because you'll hear them firing at you before you actually see them. Uh, so it's a... Uh, the sound's kind of important in this game, but uh, that in particular, it's good to keep an eye out, because uh, the, the sounds that enemies make when they trigger certain things are distinct from the sound that the game makes uh, as you just play normally. So, you see me there just shrinking those guys down to nothing. And. Yeah. I'm getting a ton of attract and rotate pickups, uh, which aren't particularly useful, really. Oh, now these guys. Those guys uh, that I just killed were. Uh, mine spawners, so they continually spawn mines, and generally they're bad news, but because I had this passive shrink, I took care of them without any hassle at all. Um, now, the game has... Uh, there's uh, ten levels in the game, and there's uh, five possible final levels that you might get, um, and which one you get is determined by how you've played the game up to that point. Um, I'm not sure if I'm at the final level yet. Seems kind of... Oh, I think I might be. Yep, so where I am now is where the exit would usually be. Because generally the... The layout of the levels is kind of a... Oh! Ah! So generally the layout of the levels is um, a kind of diagonal line. Uh, a kind of waggly di diagonal line with lots, lots of um, uh, tangents. Uh, but what we've got here is this is one of the final levels that's uh, this one's actually a puzzle so you have this uh, these um, what do you call it? triangles um, and you can see them rotating that's because I have these two red and green passive rotates so you can see I'm rotating the green ones and I've also rotated some of the red ones so if I keep going it should stop soon it shouldn't just be rotating that, there we go. And I also have these two blue, so I think, if I look in my inventory, yep, I've got a sustained rotate for the blue, so if I, if I rotate these guys, hopefully you'll see what I'm doing, or what this pattern is making. Oh, hopefully. Oh, actually, there's also a uh, uh, an orange section. So if I rotate that, I have to wait for it to be charged. And you should see what this is making. And there's the exit. Finish the game. Um, so that's shown you a bit of the game, and hopefully it was 
at least a bit interesting to hear me talk about it. Um, I'm going to stop there. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.